I have no more use for you! What is this? I don't like being toyed with. They failed me. But you have earned my gratitude. I will send you to one in my kingdom who knows the way to the Well of Souls. But first, there are demons that you must face. I've already faced and killed many. Not like these. There is great power bound in that amulet. But your shame stays its unlocking. Oh, I can see beyond your flesh to where the true battle rages. What's going on? <laughs> Horseman, what did you learn from the Lord of Bones? I suppose your king lives up to his name, if not his bargains. The dead king has granted you passage to the city of the dead. Who must I seek in the city of the dead? You should worry more about the one who seeks you. Answer my question, Scarecrow. <laughs> There's no fun in simply telling you. Then speak no more. I'd keep watch on my own neck if I were you. What will I find in the city of the dead? Besides more corpses. Something far more precious than sinew and bone. Souls, Rider, from every kingdom under a dying sun. In the city, their past life is cleansed, that they may pass through the well and be reborn. Many souls do not survive this purification. Some are driven mad, and a few even manage to escape their bonds. Your king is not the first to rule here, is he, Chancellor? There was another, a creature called Argul, too mad to be kept upon the throne. I helped my lord be rid of him, and even destroyed a few of his servants. Tisk, tisk. What will my lord do without me? Interesting. Soul Splitter. Cool. Lord of Bone has looked into Death's soul and unlocked <laughs> until death will tear us apart. Death will tear us apart. And unlock previously hidden potential. Death may now split his spirit into two halves, allowing him to be to move, or to be moved and controlled subsequently from his physical form, which turns to stone and hit and is virtually invulnerable. Hmm. This I want to see because this is the idea I was having. <laughs> Put you in circle. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, I wonder. Oh. That? Oh, world of ideas just popped into my head. I. I I have to do this before the set ends. <laughs> Alright, first I'm going to turn in the quest that um, was given to us by Thane for a cheetah. Then I'm going to go and do that place I mentioned earlier. That is really awesome. <laughs> I was expecting something like this where he becomes two people, but not that. That just went beyond my expectations. It even created a really wicked death statue. Uh, death form statue. I wonder if at some point we were able to gain control of it.
So this set's probably going to go on a little bit longer than it normally does. I currently have like, you know, currently have like quite a few sets unedited right now. I'd rather knuckle down and start editing them. I just really want to play this game. <coughs> what am I doing? Kidna will trouble you no longer. Oh, I only wish I'd been there to see her suffering. If you can pass through darkness and emerge unscathed. Awesome. So now let's go to the place I was thinking of. Not that. No. Crap, I can't remember where it's at now. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. I remember now. <coughs> that was horrible. That was a beautiful jump. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> So what I want to do is get over here, come around, boom. Awesome. Stand here. And stand here. Ta-da! Yeah, jump. One's easy. <gasps> All for a page of the Book of the Dead. <laughs> kind of disappointing, but oh well. Whoa! I think I stayed. A new possessed axe! Thank you. Yay, I got nice stuff. Drop. Okay, um... Whoa, hello. Uh, that's all said and done. That will be the end of this set. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I shall see you guys in set 7. Wow, we're really getting along in there, aren't we? Where we take on the City of the Dead. Sounds like fun. See you guys next time.
Bye.